Finding slope from an equation, 7.5a, all the information about a line is in its equation. An equation in the form of y equals mx plus b, the y is the y value, the m is the slope, the x is the x value, and that b is the y-intercept. It's where the line crosses the y-axis. This y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. So let's take a look at this. We can use this form of equation to find the slope of a line. Here's our equation, y equals 2x plus 3. So what we do is we just pick two points on the line. It could be any two points we want. It's best to use it where they're crossing, because if you use a point like right here, it's kind of like a one and a half. That's too difficult. You want to do it where it's actually making a cross because then you know your point's correct. Well, it's hitting right here and that's at zero on the X and three on the Y. And it's hitting right here perfectly on these cross lines. And that's a one for the X and a five for the Y. So let's use these two points. And that'll be our X1, Y1 and our X2, Y2, okay? We plug these values into the slope formula for our rise over our run, and we do the y2 minus y1, so it's going to be 5 take away 3, and we do x2 minus x1, that's going to be 1 take away 0. We do our math, and we get 2 over 1. That's our rise over our run. Now this simplifies to a slope of 2, because 2 over 1 is a fraction is 2, isn't it? So we got a rise in our run, but we can simplify it to the actual slope. In our equation, the y equals 2x plus 3, that was our equation, the coefficient for x, right here, this 2, see, that's our slope. Remember we said for y equals mx plus b, this coefficient for x is the actual slope. So you could just look at this equation without having to do any graphing or points or any of this math and say, oh, the slope is 2. We can see it. We can always find the slope of a line when the equation is written in the slope-intercept form because the coefficient for x is the slope. It's m. See? It's an m here, but it's the coefficient for x. That's the actual slope. See? Now what happens when it says to find the slope of an equation like 2x plus 3y equals 7, and it's not in the slope-intercept form? Oh, now what do we do? Well, we need to use the inverse properties to switch this equation around so it's in slope-intercept form. So we solve for y, that's all. We just rewrite the equation to solve for him. So we can see that we've got 2x plus 3y equals 7. We need to get this y by itself on that side of the equal sign, don't we? So let's take away that 2x. We'll create a zero pair and we'll cancel it out. And we subtract 2x from this side and it becomes minus 2x plus 7. See? We got 3y equals minus 2x plus 7. Now, to isolate this y, we divide each of these terms by this coefficient 3. That gives us our friend the invisible 1, the identity property, right? So, that gives us, whoops, that gives us y is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. And we don't need to go any farther because this right here is our slope. It's negative two-thirds. It's the coefficient for x. It's a fraction coefficient. See that? We just need to make sure that when we're rewriting this that we do it in slope-intercept form. You don't want to put 7 minus 2x. That wouldn't be in slope-intercept form, would it? We need the 2x to be up here, the coefficient and the x to be up here, and then the y-intercept by itself. See? We need to make sure that it's written in that form in order to be in slope-intercept form. Then we know that that's the slope, okay? And we can just pick any two points for the ordered pairs. We didn't have to pick these two points. We could have picked any points that actually crossed perfectly on the crosshairs here, see? We just need to find a really good place that it crosses. And I didn't really see any perfect place. That's not quite perfect. But these two spots were really good, see? So that's why I chose those. All right, our next video is 7.5b, and we're going to talk about slope-intercept equation of a line. We're going to talk about finding the slope. We're going to talk about finding the y-intercept b, 
And if you want to see the meaning of the slope or graphing horizontal or vertical lines or graphing using intercepts, the links are going to be in the description of this video. Okay? Sorry about the sunlight there. It's a really nice day outside. And I'll put a link to my 8th grade math linear equation playlist in here too, in case you want to go on quicker than I'm going. All right? And there's Algebra 1 videos in my grade 8 math playlist. All right? It's pretty much all Algebra 1. I'm just going into more detail in this Algebra 1 playlist. All right? So you could even watch both playlist videos to really get a deep understanding of Algebra 1. That's up to you. I'll see you next video. Bye.